Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 8th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had another day of mostly sideways chop, but the S&P 500 just barely eked out a new record high close in that last little surge at the end of the day. Um, a little bit of back and forth continuing to go on here. It's as, it's as if the market is waiting for some kind of inspiration. And um, unfortunately, we may have to wait until we see um, the kickoff of earnings next Wednesday to find that. But how about we take a look at these charts? Let's take a look at the technicals of the charts and see if we can gain some information about how we want to approach the market for today in the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so very much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts. When we look at the uh, Dow chart, there is unquestionably a extremely bullish chart here um, that we're looking at. And although we're resting right here in this area, just consolidating, and I honestly think that rest is a healthy action in the market after such a big booming move on Monday. And now we're just kind of in a wait and see mode. And perhaps we could wait all the way till next Wednesday before we really get going here. Now we still run the risk, uh, of course, that we have an open gap that could be filled. And we came very close yesterday of challenging that open gap and maybe slipping into it before we got that last few minutes of surge in the market to push us back up. But let's watch this pretty closely. Um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't roll out the possibility of more consolidation in here, just a little bit more what rest, kind of waiting for earnings to kick off. However, we do have some things on the calendar today, um, some items that could provide some inspiration. The question is, will they be inspiration up or down? Let's take a look at our moving averages here. Our moving averages are extremely bullish. You know, everything is all lined up like we should be. One thing I will point out though, is that we are really quite a way separated from that 50 day moving average. And notice that when we get separated from the 50 day moving average, we tend to do more of a sideways choppy um, move uh, for a period of time. So just kind of keep that in mind. We could just rest here a little more um, in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY, we eked out a new record high yesterday. The SPY held up very bullish yesterday. One thing I wanna point out though, is if you take a look at what actually gained in the S&P 500 yesterday, it was the giant tax. The giant tax lifted the entire index, the almost the majority of the vast majority of the stocks in the S&P 500 were going sideways and down. It was the five major techs that um, garnered the bullishness in the market yesterday, lifting the S&P 500. And you can see we lifted up there nicely, um, but we still had the majority of stocks moving sideways to down. So we have to be really picky and choosy about the trades that we take and be a little bit careful and cautious just in case those techs start to slide. Now, as you can see, we're in a very, very bullish condition here in the chart. And even if we use this shorter term trend, we are extremely extended away from that trend. Notice that we can't seem to find enough stocks to buy um, right now. And it doesn't seem to matter what price stocks are, we wanna chase in there. But I wanna warn on the fact that we are so stretched away that at any point in time, we could see a little bit of resting pullback in um, that S&P 500 chart. So watch that pretty closely. And then if we take a look at um, the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ managed to push on through yesterday, continuing to extend this move. How many days in a row are we going to run to the upside? 
Um, that that's an interesting question. Um, we're getting pretty stretched out here in that short term chart of the NASDAQ as well. And we're pushing up here to challenge these resistance highs in the chart. See if we can break out. NASDAQ wants to catch up with the rest of the market. Now, if I draw this current trend here, you can see just how far extended away we are from that position. So a little bit of concern there as we stretch and stretch and stretch here in the QQQ. Be careful if we happen to stumble. Um, the the pullback could be substantial, so watch that carefully. One of the things I, I continue to um, caution folks on in, in um, right way options is to be careful not to over trade a market like this. It's so easy um, to um, get caught up in the fear of missing out, over trade, and then we do get that stumble and you end up getting your account chopped to pieces as um, it pulls back. So be careful not to over trade. Make sure you're staying within your rules and guidelines. Let's take a look at IWM. Now the Russell had um, a pretty rough day yesterday. It's trying to perk back up a little bit this morning in the pre-market. Pre but as you can see yesterday, I mentioned that possibility of this head and shoulders um, forming in the chart. And we really did follow through yesterday with oil sector stocks um, pulling back financial sector stocks, kind of in a resting pattern. So not much going on here in IWM other than selling yesterday. And we're still well above a significant price support. So I don't know that there's any major danger here yet but we definitely want to keep an eye on it. And what we have done is placed a resistance in the chart and we officially have a downtrend beginning here in IWM. So we will have to uh, monitor that, keep a close eye. Let's take a look at the VIX. I got to tell you, the VIX is um, one of those things that is just really um, bizarre right now. Um, Yesterday, we had um, markets or most stocks in decline um, while we had the big techs rallying yesterday. But what's really interesting here is how the market has reacted. On Monday, when we had that really big move up in, in the market, fear actually went up. And as we had the majority of stocks yesterday moving down, fear went down. It is a bizarre thing to be seeing here in the VIX. But that being said, I have to give this up to the bulls. The bulls are still um, large and in charge here. We are finally breaking down some of this wild volatility. We're certainly not seeing that breakdown in um, the um, options chains all that much. Bid S spreads, man, oh man, the market makers are having fun and games with those this week, spreading them out like crazy and keeping those prices relatively high. But we'll want to watch this closely. I think as long as we can continue to break this down even a rally back up into here doesn't hurt us as long as we continue to follow this downtrend uh, to the downside so that is good news I think for the market watch that close and then let's take a look at our t2122 this is that proof positive that the majority of stocks were in a sideways to decline yesterday and that T2122 pulled back. Now the good news in that is it opens up opportunity for the upside. So now that we've rested and pulled back a little bit, we could get those bulls inspired in some way. We could push on higher. However, I still want to note, it, note that T2122 doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. What it does tell us is when we've reached um, extreme conditions and we have to expect um, changes in the market to come. Now, while we do have that upside opportunity, we still have a very big downside opportunity as well if we happen to find something that inspires the bear. So just keep that in mind. Um, stay on your toes, stay focused, be careful not to chase overly extended stocks, and make sure you're not over trading this market. Let's take a look at our T2101 one and I continue to mention this and it continues to be a little bit of a concern in that as we continue to rally we continue to set these new highs in the market new records yesterday but we're not seeing the breadth of the market increase and that seems kind of odd to me so just keep an eye on that um, 
it, it's been an odd year overall. We just continue to press and press and press and press as we continue to print in um, the government. But watch that pretty closely. Um, interesting dynamic going on in the market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar has a few things going on here that we want to pay attention to today. First off, this morning, bright and early before the market opens, we are going to get our jobless claims report. Now, jobless claims, it seems that um, things are greatly improving in the jobless or, or in the jobs market. So perhaps that came in very strong. That could be some bullish inspiration for today. And then after that, keep in mind, we just have a bunch of Fed speak. We do have the natural gas report, but I don't think that is going to move us around. And we have Fed speakers, including Jerome Powell here at noon. We certainly know that Jerome Powell can move the market. So keep a close eye on that. Um, and then the Fed balance sheet, which um, I don't think anybody, as long as we, as long as the Fed keeps building, building debt, it just doesn't seem to matter too much uh, to anyone out there. We keep pushing the markets higher. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar today, we have a light day with only about 10 days uh, or 10 companies um, expected to report today. But we do have some notables, a few more notables today to keep an eye on. Take a look at ConAgra. ConAgra will be reporting today. Um, keep an eye on that. It's been pressing some resistance in the chart. We've been seeing a, an awful lot of ag-related, um, packaged food-related um, stocks doing extremely well here recently. So if they can report well, that could be an interesting chart to pay attention to. Um, Constellation Brands, um, um, anything in the beverage or the consumer defensive sector has been really, really strong lately. So keep a close eye on this. Constellation Brands reporting. You can see I've got a price alert on this chart. I'm waiting to see if that can pop on through uh, that after breaking back above this resistance and holding it as support, um, keeping an eye on Constellation. So watch that today. You might want to keep an eye on Levi's. Levi is going to report today, um, right now, just kind of hanging in here in this nice upside trend, um, holding on to that, recovered that uh, support area, and we're just waiting on those earnings reports. Uh, PSMT will be reporting today. Now this, as you can see, has been in just a little bit of a downtrend, holding some price support, but a little bit of that wedging pattern that is bearish at the moment. And you can see this morning, we've got a pre-market candle heading down. Perhaps they've already reported and disappointed. So keep an eye, Price Mart uh, may be struggling here just a little bit. And then we have WDFC that, whoops, can't type. WDFC reporting this morning, and we'll keep an eye on that. You can see a little modest downturn going on here in that chart. Pretty ugly selling candle yesterday. Pre-market's trying to give us just a little teeny tiny pump back up though. So watch that carefully. Who doesn't like WD40? Let's take a look at our um, uh, stocks that are going to be that are setting up for today but before we do that guys if you can do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could be please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and also guys you might want to be keeping in mind that um we are still running that computer giveaway three thousand dollar falcon computer trading computer giveaway um, you might want to get over there to our website and uh, register for that. Go to hitandruncandlesticks.com. Make sure you get registered for that chance to win that uh, trading computer. By the way, it's the computer that I use. I have actually two of them. Um, best sheet machines I have ever had. And um, honestly, the best customer service I have ever experienced from any electronics company, hands down. So um, pretty excited about the giveaway on that.
Also, guys, if you feel like this video was worthy, if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Um, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I also want to give a big shout out to those supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link that's below the title of the video. Thank you so much, guys. You, you honor me every day. I truly, truly, truly um, want to thank each and every one of you. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys that as I point these stocks out and there are a lot of them that are setting up that um, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Make sure you're following your own due diligence, doing your own um, work on the risk of these trades. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Let's take a look at these. Now there are a few charts that are starting to return from a downside move. Oh no, I just got a delay in TC2000. Hold on guys, maybe it'll come back. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We've got AMD back. Um, let's take a look at this chart. AMD, interesting chart in the sense that AMD is trying to break this downtrend in this chart. And notice that we have rallied um, up above some resistance in that chart. Now we're still below our 50 day moving average and that's something we're gonna to have to be careful and pay attention to, but AMD starting to perk up here. Um, it's one of those stocks that have been beaten down. If you're looking for a tech sector stock, this might be one that's been kind of overly beaten down and may have that opportunity for an upside move. Let's take a look at um, US Steel. US Steel looking pretty good here, although we have pulled back here recently. I'm watching this area right in here. If we can hold that price support. Now, the reason I think steel has some pretty good upside potential would be simply because of the infrastructure spending that we are expecting to um, occur here soon. So keep a close eye on this. US Steel could rest out here toward the trend and then still make that upside move, watching it pretty darn closely. Let's take a look, how about XLV? The healthcare sector looking pretty good here. Let's take note that we're breaking the downtrend here in that chart. We're rallying up here. We've got a nice little resting consolidation in here, and I'm watching for that potential that we could pop on through to the upside. In fact, as a matter of fact, if I turn on doesn't look like I'm getting my drawings back on TC2000 just yet, but keep a close eye on that. I've got a, this chart alerted and watching for that to potentially move. Take a look at CVS. CVS is another one of those charts looking pretty darn good, um, holding up in this trend and we're setting here on some price support. So watch this carefully. We could gain that inspiration at any time and maybe push on higher here in CVS. Looking pretty good. I really like this chart in KMI and it's it tried yesterday to get going um, and then um, kind of, uh, well, popped, rested a little bit, but I really like the look of that chart, looking very, very good, trying to push through. Now this morning we're getting a little volatility in this pre-market candle, but let's watch that closely. KMI looking pretty good overall. Keep a close eye on it, pretty interesting chart. Let's take a look at Procter & Gamble. Now Procter & Gamble also doing that nice little resting pattern in here over toward consolidation. Tried to gain a little bit of inspiration yesterday. Now we do have to recognize the fact that we have a congestion level right above here that could challenge um, this chart in um, Procter & Gamble, but watch that closely. It's looking uh, pretty good overall. I also really like Altria. Now, um, Mo is a trade that we traded in right way options. We got in here. Um, um, some folks in RWO are still holding that trade, looking very, very good in that position. Um, Altria looking very, very strong. And if we go back to the daily, let's note that we're just resting in this nice little consolidating move here. We may still have to consolidate a little bit over here to trend. And the reason we may have to do that is just simply challenging that price resistance in the chart right here. Just watch that closely if that can gain that inspiration to move on higher. 
looks pretty good overall. Now, I'm keeping a really close eye on the financial sector. Um, we're going to be heading into the banking um, earnings, and it's not unusual to see banks start to rally toward those earnings of, um, reports. Now, I've actually picked up a position in XLF, but um, it hasn't really moved, uh, you know, nothing's going on there yet in that trade. So watch this closely. If this can pop through, if we can get that inspiration in those financials heading into those bank earnings, we could really see that start to move on up. So watch that closely. Looking pretty good. And I also have to say the same thing about energy. Now, although energy had a little has had a little bit of a pullback and a little bit of consolidating going on in here, I think there is that opportunity that energy energy could engage out here. So watch that closely, holding on to this support, see if there's that opportunity that could push on through to the upside. So there are some really, really good charts out there and, and there are a lot of them. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are just still in that waiting mode. You don't wanna anticipate these moves in case the market were to stumble, but we're just kind of waiting on these trades to fire off. So watch them closely. There are more stocks that you can potentially trade looking very, very good. So um, just stay very focused on those entry signals into these trades. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to leave those comments. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have a great trading day. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Friday morning.